Cooking seafood doesn't have to be intimidating. I'll show you how easy it is with my friends at hy V. This flavor-packed seafood boil is a great way to stretch premium ingredients. I'm Andrew Zimmern, and this is Seafood Without the Catch. I'm a huge boil fan. We do them in our house all the mm -hmm. time. People ask me, what do I put on my boil? You can put clams. You get the mussels in there. Shrimp is a must. Yep. But we recommend, like, when you're doing the boils, use the shell. Yeah. It's part Tons of the of party. Flavor. You know, you're eating with your hands, you're peeling the shrimp. There's more flavor in the shell than the body of the shrimp. That's a great way to incorporate crab. It's not going to break the bank because you don't have to have right. a bunch of crab. But it's a great way to show off a whole variety of shellfish. I like lobster because you can extend an expensive item. We carry a, a cold water lobster and we carry a warm water lobster. Texturally, warm waters are a little bit softer, yeah. more like crab. I think they're great in something like a boil because they absorb a lot of those flavors. All right, let's get this seafood in the pot. My favorite one-pot seafood wonder probably has to be the Cajun-style seafood boil. And you don't have to travel to Louisiana to do it. A pot of water, almost at the boil, habanero pepper. I'm just going to drop that in. I'm going to cut my onions in half and put them in. I do not peel them. This meal, I like to stay true to the roots, keep it nice and rustic. Lemon halves, squeeze them, drop those halves in. Some bay leaves, parsley. I'm going to cut my head of garlic literally in half and expose all of those beautiful garlic cloves. I have my Zatarain's boil right here. I want all of those chilies and seeds, herbs and spices. It is going to become so aromatic. I'm gonna put cayenne pepper in there. I'm gonna make sure that my water is salted. The water is seasoned. We'll let that simmer for 45 minutes before we layer in the rest of the ingredients based on the cooking time. I'm going to put my potatoes right in there because these take the longest to cook. One thing that we could take care of now while we wait, let's get some crab. I cut this right at the joints. I just finished separating those pieces that are closest to the body that include the lump. Lobster, it's easier to cut through a warm water lobster where the shell separates from itself. Just come right through. All right, that's simmering. So we know the potatoes probably have about 12, 13 more minutes left, and everything is keying off that ingredient. So I'm going to add my andouille sausage. I'm going to add my corn. And I'm going to add my big, beautiful cherry stone clams. And now we wait another couple of minutes before we add our bigger pieces of lobster tail. And then these will go in during the last three or four minutes of cooking. I'm going to put in those larger pieces of lobster. All right, just a couple more minutes left. So I'm going to put the little necks in. I'm going to put my shrimp in and my crab. Because the crab is already cooked, that just needs to reheat. So as soon as my clams are open, that's going to be ready and we'll eat. All right of going to build our boil, coming out of the pot perfectly cooked. It's simple, seafood boil heaven. So when you serve this, you just put a pair of kitchen shears on the table for things like the crab so people can get into it. The great part of the boil is not just the variety of seafood, but the variety of sauces. I'm going into my garlic and butter sauce. Mmm, my cocktail sauce, remoulade sauce. I have no problem throwing down one of these to you, to your health. Mmm, 